Greetings and welcome to this review of the Ame Kami heroine series, Harley Quinn. I am a bit of a fan of this Ame Kami series, I have a number of them. Being a very big fan of Harley Quinn, this is one that I went to some trouble to get. And, well, what do I think of it? It's mostly pretty good. Her costume is weird and interesting and... Uh, I like the little weird oval cutouts on her legs, because, hey, then you can get to see her weird white pasty skin. Her cuffs seem ridiculously huge, and her cupcake has a bomb in it. So that's cool. Um, it's a bit of an anime-esque head, and I am just noticing for the very first time that her eyes are different colors. One being green, and the other being purplish, I think. Interesting. I like it. It matches the uh, the whole two tone look of her costume. Uh, this is from one of the earlier series. One way you can tell is because it's got this ridiculously huge base. It's you know the size of my hand, and really she doesn't need a footprint that big. Most of the the later ones have a much smaller, yay shaped, yay sized roughly uh, <clears throat> stand, so you can fit them closer together on yourself. Uh, this is a statue. There is no posability, um, except for the stand. It has a hinge in the back, so you can, I guess, just make sure you have it adjusted right so it stands up. All right. Um, I don't like this weird, hideous Joker mask face thing that they have on the back. It creeps me the hell out. Yeah. Like, seriously. But I do like... The, uh, I can't tell if it's showing up. She's got a little spade, upside down spade, on her lower back. That's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, I think I'd like this better if it didn't have this big giant collar, so you could see that it's a low cut corset thing. But, creepy face. But it's got a ridiculously huge collar thing on it with skulls on it. Joker face type skulls. Um, overall, it's not a bad figure. It's probably not worth what the going rate is, um, unless you absolutely love Harley Quinn, and I do, and I got this for a good deal, and if I had to pay 80 or $90 for it as it tends to go for on eBay right now, I would not be as happy with it. Um, now that I think about it, I think the neck does turn so you can put that hideous creepy face in the front if you want. Um, they've also done a small mini one, which I don't have with me, but I will review at some point. This is how big it is. There's a Star Wars figure. They're about nine inches tall, I believe. Um, they did a mini one, which is a different pose, but it's the same costume, and I like it a lot better. They are doing a new Harley Quinn new design, new pose and everything, and I do not like how it looks, so I'm not going to order it. This one is okay, except for that god-awful, hideous mask thing on the back that seriously disturbs me. Um, I'm going to have nightmares now, because I looked at that tonight. Other than that, though, I do like this. It's, you know, it's, it's clearly, clearly a departure from the character, but it's not terribly out of the box as some of the other ones are that are really wacky and weird. This one, not bad. So, tentative thumbs up, I guess?